Welcome back, and now we've got a lot more steel. In the meantime, I'm going to try and make a lot more tone bars. One thing that makes this project quite difficult is we're not copying the old design. We are creating our own shape, and that comes with its own problems. But while I do that, there's still a few small jobs that we need to do, so let's get on top of those. And we're going to make some felt contact pads that allow the parts of the piano that rub together have less friction, less wear, and less noise. The top of the key pedestals is the most obvious place, so we're just going to glue on some felt. Now, my whole goal is to make this as cheap as possible, so I'm not using piano felt. This could be a huge mistake, but like everything else we're trying in this project, we're trying to cut corners. Now, I have heard a lot of stories of how Fender would approach when these pianos would be made and try and cut every corner possible, and maybe I'm just going to be trying things that just don't work. This, this piano design has already been optimised to a point where it's as cheap and easily available as possible. But hey, we'll have a go. So yeah, we'll just apply some contact adhesive on the top of the key pedestal and push on some felt and we'll just let it dry. Okay, so now we've got the pedestals done, we need to start building up the hammers again. Now we did have these all attached, but now we need to attach the damper arms. And I'm not fully sure what height we need to attach these to. So I'm going to attach the damper arms backwards. So I'll put one damper arm on here and yeah, it appears to work. And then next we're going to build up the tone assembly step by step. Now we've moved the keys along to what I originally designed. So I may have to remake the harp, but for now, let's just build it up and see what, what goes on. So I'm just going to play over the distances that the, the harp needs to be spaced out for the keys and the tone generator to be positioned so that they fit correctly here. There's a lot of fettling and small adjustments required in these pianos, so it's really hard to kind of guess blindly. So I know fine well that this is all going to have to be re-optimised. And I think that's part of the issue of why it's taken so long is there's a lot of other little small projects that require less work that I quite enjoy completing also, as you've probably seen in my other videos. But we will progress. We will get this working. So this design of Tone Generator does seem to ring out quite well. I have thought about some ways to optimise in some of the things we've done already, such as the springs. I do think I've got a better approach for that, and that might be in the next video. And we've got one note working so far. Now, as I say, it's going to take quite a bit of fettling. We need to kind of play with where the hammer hits the tine. And also how we voice it regarding the pickups. This will have a huge effect on sound. But it's just not at the point where we can play with that just yet. But yeah, there's still a ton of work in this. And... I do see some other people's projects online and think of all the work hidden in the background of what's how they created that. But as I said, do stick around. We are going to finish this. We, there is light at the end of the tunnel and I am going to play a song on this at some point. Although it'd probably be a bassy song. <laughs> well, that's it for this time. Till next time. <laughs>